Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome at last to the reveal of the limited time mode that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. We're going to finally find out. Look at it. We're checking it out, guys. I can't wait. This is going to be epic. Uh, as it's called epic. I do know it's 50 versus 50. I can't hold excitement in. I've got to tell you, it is absolutely batshit mental. Take a look at this. Now, is it really going to be like this in the gameplay? Are we really going to see two groups of 50 players building massive bases like this? I'm not too sure, but it looks nuts. Look at that. Just firing bullets, bazookas, grenades at each other. You are going to be a lot on the grind. You're going to need to be producing for people. Whoever's going to be like leader of the group or whatever they're going to have. I don't know exactly how it pans out. We're going to take a look at the patch notes in a minute. As if you're going to have synchronized bushage. Just going around being all hyper. Oh, you can put jump pads on as well. This looks absolutely epic. It's really going to make a really good look. Just... 50 versus 50 that is crazy it's probably going to be like a war versus war i can't wait to get all this guys i'm going to be giving you gameplay as soon as i get off this video showing you some actual footage of this madness that is coming there we go guys that is the trailer for 50 versus 50 absolutely amazing i can't wait to show you some gameplay i was going to jump straight in to show you a actual match but i'm going to do that in a separate video i really wanted to go over some of the patch notes and talk about some of the other stuff that happened in the 1.10 update but what do you think about 50 v 50? Already on their Twitter feed, they're talking about people jumping into other teams to make the odds uneven. Like that one person is really going to matter. But obviously that may happen if you manage to get into a lobby. It's going to be interesting to see what it looks like when we get some gameplay of it. It is only available to the 17th of December. So you've only got five days to play this game mode. That's unreal. Hopefully if it's really popular, they may include it in the final version of the game. So you can jump into the mode on your own or you can take your little party of four people into the actual match. Once the battle bus gets flying you'll see your squad on the map and you communicate like normal squad duo match. You'll see green markers on the map and above the heads of the remaining 50 player team. The circle closes in, last team standing wins. So the trailer does kind of show two bases getting built against each other but that's going to be very hard to organise unless you have got server wide chat. So I really don't think we're going to be seeing these mega bases being built. It's just a case of like who is the last team actually standing. Imagine being the last person on the team because you pussied out somewhere in a bit in a bush and then literally had like 25 people coming your way. Friendly fire is off, but you'll still see hit indicators. Limited visibility of non-squad teammates. Squad voice only. Wow, this is really, it's going against what they're trying to do. I feel like if you're going to have 50 players, you need to be able to hear and talk to everyone. You can revive any friendly teammates. You won't see non-squad teammates until you land. Holy schmoly, they're going to be invisible. In the future, we'll be running additional vent playlists and limited time modes to spice up that battle royale action in unique and different ways. Stay tuned for more info. Whoa, okay, yeah, I guess that's pretty okay. The friendly fire is a good thing, obviously. You don't want anyone team killing. Limited visibility of non-squad teammates. That's that's a bit weird. And you won't see them until you land either. Again, like you can't really then work out where the rest of the group are going. You might want to go with the whole pack and so that you're stronger, but you won't know that until you land. So you bet, I bet everybody's going to jump out of the battle bus straight away and just have some mega war. I can't wait to play this. I'm going to get off this video as soon as I can. I've got a driving lesson. As soon as I'm back from a driving lesson, I might even do a live stream. Okay, before we move on to all that rest of the stuff though, the latest 1.10 update actually broke a whole shed load of stuff. Mainly aiming. It's really bad. People have been complaining massively. They're saying that the aim assist doesn't feel great. And again, the controller sensitivity impact has gone a little bit haywire. So they have reverted it. They've put it back to how it was before the patch. That is, they keep doing this. They really jump from one thing to another. It's never small, tiny, little adjustments. It's bam, we're doing it like this. And if that don't work, then we'll go bam, we'll go the other way. I suppose it's good in a way they can really test if something really works rather than just doing tiny little changes. But obviously it pisses the player base off because we have to deal with this for the next couple of days. But at least it's only been 24 hours like that or so. Now, all these little changes, they won't require any more update. It is a server-side client update. They've had the game mode 50-50 in the game files. In fact, just after I've done my news video about it yesterday, someone did tell me I should look in the PC files. So I'm going to do that in the future to make sure I'm giving you guys absolutely as much info as possible. 
And just in case you're still sitting on the fence about buying the Fortnite PvE experience, you can now get it at 40% off for a limited time. If you have not bought the game, I recommend doing it. Now, I don't normally recommend buying games that are in early access, especially when it's going to be free. But there is a really good way that you can earn lots of V-Bucks in the game. And of course, you can use them to buy new skins, new item skins, etc. I've got a guide for it, you can go and check it out, the link's going to be in the description and at the end of this video, exactly how you can earn V-Bucks. So I think that's a huge reveal, they're obviously trying to get some competition for PUBG and take away some of the spotlight on that game, and I know they're very different, I know a lot of people on Xbox are going to just be playing that game no matter what, but for everyone else on the PlayStation and PC who have had access to both of the games, it really is looking like Fortnite's giving PUBG a run for its money in terms of innovation now. I was one of the first people and I accused them mostly of being a little bit unoriginal and maybe just a little bit rippy offy of PUBG but I'm really pleased to see the last few months they've really started to take the game on their own adding their unique features their unique things so that's really good to see I think any battle royale game mode that comes out in the next year or so it's got to be unique it can't just be a carbon copy of PUBG there's got to be something different in the way it plays and that's easier said than done. Obviously people want to copy it. There's lots of games that haven't been successful, like the Cullen. But I definitely can't wait to see what the future holds for Fortnite Battle Royale. So I am Jay Plays Games. Go and check out my official website where you can join the forums. If you need any help, you want to start a thread, you want to start a discussion, you can go and join ahead. It's there, there's the link there. And of course you can check out all my other videos in one spot as well. And find all the links about me in Patreon, Discord, Twitch, etc. Stay tuned, like I said, expect an updated video later on with gameplay or a live stream. We're going to do an early morning one for you. Until then, Ratbags, I'll see you later.